Hey everyone, we're back. It's me, the how-to homemaker. So I'm on location today because I am filling woodpecker holes. I have a side job with an elderly couple. They are freaking adorable and some of the nicest people I've ever met. But I guess they have some giant woodpeckers where they live. Let's see if we can see the area. I'm going to be crawling up there and also on a different side of their house, like the exact opposite side. But yeah, giant woodpeckers, they want to sell their house, and so I'm trying to fix it up for them, and that's one of the jobs. As you can see behind me, I've got an exterior wood filler, some spray foam, and a couple of knives, some spatula scrapers, whatever you want to call them. So that is what I've came up with. These are the products that I've researched, so hopefully it'll go well for me, and yeah, I'm going to climb up there and we'll see how we do. Talk to you soon. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this is going to end up to be a three-part process because if you can just put the wood filler in, that's great. But if you have to put the spray foam in, then you just got to let that dry. And then you go put the wood filler in, then you let that dry, then you go sand it and paint it. So if you just have a bunch of thin holes, then just put wood filler in. Only two-step process. If you have deep holes, it's a three-one. So this is what it looks like right now. You can see there's an excess of foam on a couple of them. My advice to you, if you've never used spray foam, spray it, leave it, let it dry, don't touch it. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. You're, you're gonna get messy. <laughs> and also, if your spray foam, the one that you pick ends up drying to be a really not porous at all surface, make sure that you poke little holes in it or kind of rough up the surface a little bit. Well, and you're gonna be peeling some back anyway, so that should be enough. But if what you ended up putting in there was just enough and then you can comfortably put your wood filler on over top of that, you do want to rough it up because you want something for the wood filler to grab onto. That's all I got to say. So I'm going to sign out because I do got to get back to work here. <laughs> These people are paying me. They're very nice. They did let me do this. I did ask. <laughs> um, that's all I got to say. Have a great day. I'm the How To Homemaker. Subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of good things to say. And see you next video. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so. But that's all you got to do. I noticed the exterior grade, exterior grade wood filler. Here comes Ripple. There he is. I love that dog. Anyways. How the lines in my face? I'm getting old. We're getting old. We're getting old. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel because I got a little, 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 little frig. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Tally. Auntie loves you. I can't wait to see you again. I love you so much.